All right. Uh, this is like my third or fourth time trying this because every time I once I get done recording, all of a sudden my web browser says it's not working and I have to restart my video. So if I ramble or go too fast or something like that, it's kind of because I'm getting tired of trying this. All right. So starting off with her presentation, my question one, my impressions, things I liked and didn't like about it. Um, I really liked her presentation. I thought it was really, uh, really entertaining and really informative. I kind of felt like I was watching a comedian, um, but she also, at the same time, she was giving a very good lesson. Uh, it's an important thing that I think we all really need to know and pay attention to. Um, and I think she did a really good job with that, with her video, her media that she showed. Her media was really good. It kind of like blows your mind, like hearing that, uh, seeing how much social media is uh, changing our lives and how we interact with each other every day. Um, she brought up a good point talking about those interactions between people and how it's kind of just dying out. And if you're going to be a leader in the community, you really have to, you have to interact with people. That's, I mean, part of the job. That's something you're going to have to do and you have to get comfortable doing, which we're kind of being trained not to do now. But so, uh, things I didn't like about her presentation, it's just for the fact that it's kind of, I felt she, even though she was giving a good tip about social media, she didn't really um, talk about so much community education in it as much, I don't think. She talked kind of about being a community leader, which, I mean, ties in. Um, but the whole aspect of educating community and things like that, I don't really know if she hit that as hard as I really was expecting her to or wanted her to. Um, also, I really kind of wish I would have found out more about what she did. I mean, I think we asked her and she gave such a brief overview, but I would have liked to have heard more about actually the what her place does, really. But that's kind of the main things I really didn't like uh, out of the thing. So for question two, um, what did I learn about the role of community education and leadership? I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah. I think about this question, I'm really not sure. I kind of want to talk about this in class so I can get a better understanding of it for the next uh, speakers and stuff to answer it on here. I might accidentally answer that question in the rest of this talk, but I'm not really sure. So I'd kind of just prefer to talk about that in class because I'm not really certain. No, sorry. So, um, but with question three, the ideas I got from the presentation about my own role in community ed, I think her main point of her talk was kind of the important things. Um, the fact that we need to watch what we put out there online. I've always been one of the people that really tries to watch what I put. I'd make sure I don't put anything that I wouldn't want anybody to see, like in my family or something. Like she said, like her grandma gets on the computer. I don't want her to see something. I'd make sure I don't put anything like that out there. Try to keep your own self-image. So in the future, you never know. Um, people like to dig up things and people will see the things and you're what you post really gets out there and you need to make sure that you keep your image if you're going to be a leader in the community. But um, besides that also, the interaction, the whole aspect of interacting with people with our phones and computers nowadays, we don't have to speak face to face. Um, we don't understand what we're saying. It's as being a leader, you're going to have to talk to people. It's part of the job. So you're really going to have to get used to that. And that's just something that she really kind of focused on good. And it really is hitting home because it's something that, you notice, really, you walk outside, you see everybody looking down like this on their phones, and you're, you know, it's just how people do nowadays, and we kind of need to remember to get away from that for business things and things that are really important. In our own social, uh, personal lives, I mean, that's fine if that's what you want to do, but for when it comes to the important, like, business and real life kind of stuff, you know, you really need to be able to speak to people, talk on the phone, talk in person, anything like that. If I forgot anything, though, like I said, this is like the fourth time doing it, so I'm sorry. But uh, I, I liked your presentation. I thought there was important things to talk about. Just kind of wish there would have been a little bit more. But I I talked to a couple other kids after class, and they all seemed to feel the same way. So I think we're going to ask more questions in the future with her, with pre presenters and stuff. And we'll, I think we'll be more satisfied with what we hear from then on because we're going to be we know what we want to hear and what we need to ask. So. All right, that's my try. So thanks. See you in class.